Hey, sneaky looks back. Quick video tonight. Yeah, quick one. I've done one earlier. Well, it wasn't nearly earlier, wasn't it, anyway? But remember a while ago, I done a video on Tinkercad for you and showing you how you can build stuff in 3D modeling and it's free and you can use it and then just print them out or whatever you want to do. Well, a little while ago, they had a little bit of an update and I'm going to show it to you now. Now, this is my account now here. So I've got a lens cap going, a couple of school badges, some badges for Code Club and some scratch badges that I've been playing around with and printing out for the kiddies. Right, what they have come up with is Tinkercad circuits, okay? This I really, really like, okay? First time I tried it, by the way, so I'm trying it with you, okay? So I'm going to try circuits. And I've put it in Chrome, by, by the way, because it didn't work very well in uh, Firefox for some reason, yeah. Anyway, we're doing a simulation. Let's learn how to test a circuit design with the simulator. So here we have a little CR2032 battery, 3 volts. Got a nice resistor here. Can I see what it is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. You right click and we get the resistance. So it's in 220 ohm. Ooh, nice. And we've got an LED here. If we click it, it's red and it's number one. And our battery, a one cell 3 volt battery. Okay. So, what do we do next? Because this is just showing you how you can use it. Okay. So we go to next. Click on the start simulator button located at the right of the toolbar. Ooh. Oh, it's up there. And it will show you if it works. So we start simulation. Oh, it works. Look, it lights the LED. Stop simulation. That's how easy it is. So we're done now. So you complete the lesson. You can continue to take the next lesson. Well, I'm not Clive, okay? I'm not big Clive, okay? But in here, we can do lots and lots of stuff. So editing components. Let's learn how to edit components in your circuit. Click next to get started. Okay, we'll do that. So LED number one. Okay. In the work plane, you'll find three blue LEDs, three resistors, and an Arduino. Don't worry about the Arduino. No, I won't worry about the Arduino. Uh, the Arduino is a controller board, okay? It's a, above a Raspberry Pi, but, you know, it's not really basic. Like the onion I've got. I've got a really small onion. I don't know if anybody's heard of them. Really super duper. So it says here, click on the topmost LED. You'll see an inspector appear and lets you edit the properties of the component. Change the colour to red. Okay, that's the top LED. Click it. Oh yeah, I'll change that to red. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? We've done that. Yeah. Change the middle to yellow. Okay, we'll do that. Give it that one first. Middle to yellow. Okay, we'll do that. And the bottom one to green. Okay, we can do that. No problem. See, it's showing you how circuits work and stuff like that. If you've never been into it before. Okay, if you've never been into it. Continue to the next step. Okay, there's four steps in this one. Now let's check that our traffic light works as expected. Click on the start simulation button on the top right. This has to add our traffic light. Well, it should work perfectly. Let's get rid of that. Start simulation. There we go. Green. Okay. Red. Green. Yellow. Or amber, as we say. Red. See? It all works. And it's actually showing you how to do it. Now, like, unlike the Raspberry Pi, where you've got an SD card, you flash these Arduinos or any microcontrollers, you flash them. If you've got a BBC micro bit, you'll know exactly what I mean. And you can do the same sort of thing with a micro bit. So anyway, we'll go to lesson four, okay? Oh, continue tinkering. You can also change the colour of your wires. Oh, that's good, yeah. Try different wire components. What happens to the brightness of the LEDs when you edit the resistance? Ooh. So if I, okay, if I just go here and make that a 300 ohm, or should we make it 400? Okay, we'll make it 400 then. Yeah, okay. I'm going to run the simulation. What happened? Let's have a look. So green. Oh, that's got a bit bright, hasn't it? Do you think it's got a bit bright? I'm not sure. Okay. And there's more tutorials on this, so I'll stop the simulation. There's a code editor as well, so if we go to the code editor, this is the code you'd upload to your Arduino. Okay, it's all there for you. So you can make your circuit. Yeah, you can make it. And then get the code, upload it to Arduino or whatever microcontroller you're using. I mean, I've got the onion. I've, I think I've got an Arduino somewhere, but I haven't used it for quite a while. And do stuff like this is the traffic light one, okay? But you can make robots, anything, weather stations, anything you can think of. There's other guys on the web that do a lot of this, but I thought I'd just show you in Tinkercad what you could do, how easy it is, and how free it is. Because you know I like free. Free's good. Okay. Free's fantastic. So that's just a really, really quick one on the new Tinkercad stuff, okay? Tinkercad circuit is great. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.